rejoicing in his strength, and charges into the fray, afraid of nothing. When the trumpet sounds. Throughout time, artists have captured this magnificent scene and portrayed the graceful and agile movements of the horse in such a way that people of all ages are enraptured by their strength. Horse racing exploded in France in the 19th century when artists were starting to embrace contemporary and realistic subjects for their artwork. Artists in the 19th century, and in particular, Edgar Degas, a French Impressionist artist, painted racehorses to communicate not only their strong feelings for movement, but to show the danger, strength, power, and beauty of horse racing. Degas was attracted to races and ballets and watched as jockeys and dancers alike prepared and performed for the physically demanding acts that was asked of them. He saw how these delicately built, highly trained, intensely competitive athletes and skilled professionals made graceful movements and formed intricate patterns with their bodies. As a result, they provided him with the perfect subjects to communicate his feelings of movement and realism. For example, in his oil painting of At the Races, Amateur Jockeys Near a Carriage, he uses line and light to highlight the dangers and beauty of horse racing. Edgar Degas' The Scene from the Steeplechase, The Fallen Jockey, is a perfect example of how this beautiful sport, with one wrong move, can turn deadly in an instant. This element of danger happens to be one of the attractions of the race, along with the fact that gentlemen instead of professional jockeys guide the horses over dangerous barriers. He clearly captured this intense sport in every aspect of beauty, power, strength, and danger. This is especially true in his oil painting, The False Start, which has a jockey barely holding on to the reins of his horse as it takes off unexpectedly. All of the characteristics of horse racing emerges from the painting through the positions of the horse and jockey, and in particularly in the horse's lean, muscular legs. All of Degas' horse racing masterpieces provide evidence for what horse racing was like in the 19th century. He liked to capture everyday moments and illustrate race horses full of movement, agility, beauty, strength, and danger. He studied the movements of horses by attending the races while also absorbing the colors, smells, and the overall excitement, which he then incorporated into his own creations. His intensity as an artist came from his desire for perfection, which can be seen in his numerous sketches. He even found fault in finished works and often painted over them to fix the flaws. Even though Degas attended the races and sketched constantly, he was the ultimate director for his projects, using little wooden horses and toy jockeys to create the scene he wanted, painting from memory instead of directly from nature. In this way, he turned a blank canvas into a living work of art full of movement and intensity, showing that 19th century horse racing provided entertainment for mass amounts of people who were not only attracted by the strength and beauty of horses, but also by the danger.